DJI isn't slowing down. After the success of the first Neo, the company is already preparing its next tiny powerhouse, the DJI Neo 2. It started showing up in FCC listings not long ago, and when DJI's products appear there, it usually means something new is coming soon. Some say the release could happen before the end of 2025, while others believe we might have to wait until early 2026. Either way, it's clear that DJI is ready to push the boundaries of what a lightweight drone can do. The first Neo surprised everyone with how capable it was for its size. It delivered good image quality, a fun flying experience, and most importantly, it was simple enough for anyone to use. The Neo 2 looks ready to take that winning formula and make it even better. This new model aims to keep the same small footprint while upgrading almost every important feature, battery, camera, safety, and intelligence. Let's start with what we know about the design. The Neo 2 is rumored to weigh around 135 grams. Even if it goes a little higher, it should remain under 250 grams, which is crucial for drone pilots. Staying below that mark means you won't need to register it in most regions, and you can fly it freely without complex paperwork. That alone makes it an attractive pick for travelers or anyone who just wants to fly and film without hassle. DJI's engineers seem to have worked carefully on the build. The overall body keeps that compact style we loved in the original Neo, but early images suggest smoother edges, a tougher frame, and a design that can take a few bumps without breaking. It feels like DJI wants to give people a drone that looks friendly, yet feels professional. Lightweight but strong, portable but premium. Now the battery. This is where one of the biggest upgrades happens. The first Neo carried a 1435 mAh battery. The Neo 2 bumps that to around 1660 mAh. That might not sound like much at first, but for a drone of this size, it's a significant jump. More capacity means more flight time, possibly stretching it from roughly 18 minutes up to around 23 minutes in normal use. Add in some improved power management from DJI's latest software, and users could see even longer real-world endurance. That extra few minutes might not matter on paper, but for a drone pilot capturing a sunset, it's the difference between getting the perfect shot and landing too soon. Now we get to the most exciting part, the camera. The Neo 2 reportedly drops the older 1 or 2 inch sensor and moves to a 1 or 1.3 inch sensor. That's a massive step up for something this small. In simple terms, a bigger sensor collects more light, leading to sharper details, better colors, and smoother low light performance. If you've ever flown the original Neo during dusk, you probably noticed the video noise. That should improve drastically now. With that new sensor, 4K 60fps video seems almost guaranteed. It might even support higher frame rates like 120 FPS at lower resolutions for slow motion shots. DJI has been pushing cinematic quality even in its smallest drones, and the Neo 2 could finally bring that level of performance to true beginners. There's also talk of HDR recording, meaning richer color contrast and more lifelike highlights and shadows. Combined with DJI's intelligent color profiles, creators will be able to post directly from the drone without needing to edit heavily. The gimbal system may also get a small redesign. Early leaks point to better stabilization algorithms and faster reaction times when the drone moves sharply in windy conditions. This means your footage should look steadier even in breezy weather. It's something casual flyers will appreciate because not every day has perfect calm skies. Next, safety. The Neo 2 is rumored to introduce double layer propeller shields instead of the single rings used in the first Neo. This is a big deal. Full coverage guards protect the blades completely, making it almost impossible for the drone to harm people, pets, or nearby objects. You can fly indoors without fear of scratches or crashes. It's perfect for first time users, kids, or vloggers who want to film themselves in tighter spaces. DJI understands that confidence is everything when you're learning to fly. These guards will give that peace of mind. Along with that, we expect better obstacle detection and GPS locking. DJI's mini models have always been decent at maintaining position, but now leaks hint that the Neo 2 will use more precise satellite positioning, reducing drift and making hovering ultra stable. That's great for shooting still footage and also for beginner pilots who want predictable control. Let's talk about the flight intelligence. DJI's smart features like quick shots and subject tracking are rumored to get noticeable upgrades. For those who don't know, quick shots are pre-programmed flight paths that make cinematic clips automatically. You tap a button, and the drone flies a perfect circle or spiral around you. The Neo 2 might include newer templates, smoother pathing, and even more accurate subject detection. Then there's the transmission system. DJI has been using its O4 transmission tech in higher-end models, and there's a strong chance the Neo 2 might get a lighter version of it. 
If that happens, expect a much stronger signal and a cleaner, more responsive video feed, even in areas with interference. That will make flights more reliable and give pilots more confidence when pushing distance or height. Voice control is another feature that seems to be sticking around. On the first Neo, users could launch, land, or record by voice commands. It wasn't perfect, but it was convenient. DJI appears to be refining it for Neo 2, with better recognition and more command options. That's great for vloggers or solo travelers who don't want to stop mid-flight to fiddle with their phone screens. Imagine simply saying, Neo, take off, and watching it rise smoothly into the air. It feels futuristic and fun. Storage might stay the same at 22 GB internal memory. It's not huge, but enough for short clips or a few flights. Of course, most users will likely expand storage with a micro SD card, as DJI typically supports that. With faster transfer rates expected, downloading your footage to a phone or laptop should also feel quicker and smoother. The connectivity ports are minimal, as expected from a tiny drone, but the wireless features are where it shines. We can expect strong Wi-Fi link options and low latency viewing through the DJI Fly app. That's important for framing shots and controlling settings in real time. Now, let's think about the price. The first Neo launched around $299. Given the upgrades we're hearing about, the Neo 2 will probably sit between $329 and $379, depending on the package and region. That would still make it one of the most affordable DJI drones with a true 4K camera and advanced flight features. Compared to competitors from brands like Potensic or Hubsan, DJI continues to offer unmatched camera performance and stability, even in its entry-level models. Who exactly is the Neo 2 for? It's for anyone who wants an easy, reliable flying camera, beginners who just want to learn, vloggers who want cinematic footage without carrying bulky gear, travelers who love capturing aerial perspectives but hate dealing with registration rules or heavy equipment. The Neo 2 is made for fun, creativity, and simplicity. You take it out of your bag, tap a button, and you're flying within seconds. It's not meant for professional cinematographers. DJI already has the Air 3 and Mini 4 Pro for that. But for casual creators or everyday users, the Neo 2 fills a perfect spot between toy drones and expensive flagships. Let's take a moment to look at DJI's strategy here. Over the years, DJI has built an ecosystem that covers everyone, from first-timers to Hollywood filmmakers. The Neo line is its gateway product, meant to introduce new users to the brand. Once they get hooked, they might move up to Mini, Air, or Mavic models. The Neo 2's upgrades make that first step even more appealing. It's small but powerful enough to showcase DJI's expertise in design, image processing, and flight control. Competitors will find it tough to match. Most brands in this category struggle with stability, image quality, or software polish. DJI, on the other hand, delivers everything with precision. That's what makes this company stand out. Every drone it releases feels like it has been tuned for real-world use, not just for specs on paper. Let's talk about the user experience a bit more. The setup process should remain just as simple as before. Unfold the drone, connect through the app, and fly. DJI's interface walks you through calibration and beginner mode with on-screen guidance. The remote controller might look similar to the last version, but could include slightly better grips and a smoother phone mount. Battery swaps should remain easy, with a click-in design that feels secure. These little touches matter, especially for newcomers. Now on to image performance expectations. With the new sensor, we can anticipate sharper textures, better highlight control, and richer dynamic range. DJI's color science has improved over the years, and even without log profiles, you can expect vibrant but natural tones. If HDR video support is confirmed, footage will pop with contrast and clarity. Low light improvement will likely be the most noticeable difference for casual users. Night scenes or golden hour flights should finally look clean instead of grainy. DJI software processing usually does an excellent job of balancing noise and detail, so you'll get usable results even when the light fades.